Are you tired of complicated crypto wallet setups or difficult ways to confirm a transaction and transfer your tokens? Then this guide is for you. Today I'm breaking down the new Tangem wallet, how you can set it up in a quickly and easy way and also how you do token transfer. Tangem is in my opinion the best wallet for beginners, especially if you want it simple, secure and speedy. You can set your Tangem wallet up in about three minutes and secure your assets, even if you're a total newbie in the crypto space. So in this video, I will show you how you can set up your Tangem wallet quickly, how to manage your tokens, how to send some cryptos to your Tangem wallet, and of course also how you can send money to someone else. And if you don't have a Tangem wallet yet, Feel free to use the link down below in the description. It will give you 10% discount or just enter the promo code bonus also manually. So you can see that you are saving 10% on your wallet. Later in this video, I will also give you my suggestion if two cards are enough for you or if I would recommend you the three card set. And if you want to learn more about crypto hardware wallets and easy to follow tutorials and how to make money with it, then please consider to subscribe and to hit the notification bell. Now let's get started with the Tangem setup guide. So what you need is of course your Tangem wallet, which comes in this package and your NFC compatible smartphone. Please note that Tangem is not coming with a desktop app, but only smartphone app as it uses the NFC from our smartphone. So definitely you need to have an NFC compatible smartphone. The first step is to download the Tangem app and you can simply go to your Apple or Play Store and download it there. But you're also getting in your Tangem box a small getting started guide. And there you can find a QR code which actually leads you to the correct app. And I'll highly recommend you to scan this QR code with your smartphone instead of searching in the Google Play Store. Because with this QR code we can actually be sure that we downloaded the correct app and not any counterfeit copycat app which just wants to steal our funds. I already have the app because I do not only have the new Tangem wallet, but I also still had the classic wallet. So in my case, I just go on this three dots and click on add a new wallet and just scan my first card with a tab on my phone. Now you can see that we need to create a wallet and here we actually have three options. The first option is the create wallet option. And if you choose this one, it will work the same way as the classic Tangent wallet has been working. And this actually means that our seed phrases or private keys can never be exposed, but they are only stored on this card or actually your two or three cards, depending on which package you got. Tangent is actually recommending this option as there will be no thief who can just expose your seed phrase or even what we have shown in one of my latest videos, when a guy went into routine traffic control and the police had a dash cam on his uniform and the police found his C phrase and it was stored on the dash cam. And before he even noticed, all his funds has been gone. So this is something which cannot happen if you're using a Tangem wallet with no C phrase option. However, if you're using this option, keep in mind that you only have these cards as a backup. So you will not be able to migrate or import your seed phrase to any other wallet. So these cards need to be stored as securely as your seed phrase, because if you are losing one card, it won't be a big deal as long as you still have at least one other card. So in order to actually access your phone, you would need one card along with your fingerprint or your access pin, or you need at least two cards. So this also means as long as you're just losing one card, the thief won't be able to do anything with that. Your funds are still safe. But this also means if you are losing too many cards and you just have one card left, I would highly recommend you to get another tangent set. And that's why if you are using the no seed phrase option, I highly, highly recommend you to get the three cards set, which cost with the promo code bonus $63. However, you have the option also to click on other options here. And with these other options, you will be able to have your own seed phrase and write it down and just use it as most any other hardware wallets. However, I do not recommend you to import any wallet or seed phrase, which comes from a hot wallet or even hardware wallet, which you didn't trust anymore. 
Because if you import the seed phrase of another wallet, it means that the old wallet still exists and you just somehow mirrored the old wallet to Tangem 2 so you can use it on the old wallet but also on the Tangem wallet. So you can still use Metamask or Ledger or whatever and if you want to secure your funds of course you should not do this. Also what I would recommend you if you are using the generate seed phrase option it means that the seed phrase is generated from Tangem or the software inside and in this case your seed phrase will be temporarily displayed on your smartphone and that's why I highly recommend you for this option to either use a complete new smartphone or just a dedicated smartphone which is just used for your crypto and not used to download all random stuff and social media and clicking on a bunch of links so that you can make sure that your smartphone is actually not compromised. Additionally what you can do is to switch on the airplane modes on the most steps so this also reduces the risk that your seed phrase is somehow hacked. However, this is only a temporary thing. So your seed phrase is only displayed for a short term on your smartphone. And after this, you should not worry that your seed phrase is exposed because after your seed phrase is not displayed on the app anymore, but of course you have the access through your cards and you have the written down seed phrase too. So in this video, I'll show you how you can do it the traditional way such as the classic cards and the option which Tangem recommends which is a no seed phrase option. So now we need to scan the first card you will find the card number here and also at the back side of your cards so just collect the correct card and tap it on your phone quickly. Now we can create some backup cards and here it's really important that you only can create backup cards during the setup process. Once the setup process is completed, you can not create any new backups. So this is also a nice security feature of Tangem actually, because this means no one could unknowingly just copy your seed phrase or your cards, but you know exactly how many cards are existing, which are having access to your actual wallet. Okay, so now we click on add a backup card and then we tap our other cards just quickly on the smartphone until we see that it has been a success. And depending if you got the two or three card sets, you could either finalize the backup process now or you add your second backup card. Just tap it again shortly on the smartphone and it became a success. Now we have to finalize the backup process by creating an access code. So just continue. And you can use any access code you want to. It can consist of small and capital letters or any symbols and it is case sensitive. So keep this in mind, please. Then we have to re-enter our access code and to finalize the backup process. Now we have to scan our primary card again and this time we have to tap it a little longer. And then we need to scan the first backup card as well. Also a little longer for 15 seconds. Last but not least, the second backup card or the third card in total. And we scan it here again for 15 seconds. And that's it. Our wallet is configured and is ready to use. So as per default, you will only see the Bitcoin and Ethereum coins on your wallet. However, you can manage tokens. Just click there and add any token you want to. For example, you could add Tether in the uh, Solana, BNB Smart Chain and Tron Network, whatever you want to and just click on Save Changes. Quickly scan one of your cards again. And then you will find that all the tether has been added. And one thing which is also convenient, when you add a token in a specific network to Tangem, it will additionally also add the specific coins of the chain automatically. So for example, if we have added tether in the Tron network, it will also add automatically Tron. And if we have tether in this smart chain, it will also add automatically BNB and so on. Right now you won't be able to see my balance. However, a cool new feature which Tangem added to their wallet is as soon as you just switch your phone down, you will be able to see all the funds. And if you switch it down back, it's all blurred again. So even if you are walking outside and you just want to do a purchase or whatever, or you're in a public coffee shop, it is super secure to use. No one will be able to see your actually assets and your net worth. If you want to hide a token, you can simply click a little longer on the specific token and you can just choose hide token. And that's it. 
now the token won't be visible on your smartphone anymore. However, please note that it's still on the blockchain in case you had some assets there. It's just not on your smartphone app to make things less cluttered. If you go on manage tokens, you will find all the tokens which are available per default and tangent. You can also use the search mask here. However, if one token is not available here, you can still check if it's supported with Tangem by simply clicking on this plus sign, select the specific network and then enter the contract address. If it can't find it, you might add the name, token symbol and so on. In case you are losing your phone, you don't have to worry at all. I tried it already. So all you need if you have a new phone or whatever is of course your card. All you need to restore the app and this, the access to your phones is to have a card as well as your access pin or you need to have at least two cards in case you forgot your pin. If you go on card settings, you would also be able to change the access code. However, please keep in mind that if you are changing the access code using this method, it will only change the access code of this specific card which you just scanned. So each card could have a different access code if you want to or if you want to have the same access code on each card, you need to do the entire process for each card separately and manually. Now, if we want to send some funds to our Tangem wallet, this is how you can do it from Trust Wallet in case you still have some funds on a hot wallet. First of all, of course, you select the token or coin you want to receive and you just click here on Receive. Then you either can scan the QR code or you can just copy the public address by clicking on the copy button. I highly recommend you to not try to type it if there are any small errors or so your funds will be gone. So just use the copy or QR code scanning method. After this, we go to our trust wallet and we click on send. Just paste the address which you just copied from your tangent wallet here and just enter the BNB amount you want to send over. Because it's a test transfer and I just want to show you how you can send and receive funds to your tangent wallet, I'm just selecting a small amount. However, if you're not 100% sure how all these token transfers work with all these specific networks, then please also do just a small amount initially. And if it worked well, then you can do the rest of your funds. Now you have all the details and if you're fine also with the network fees and of course check the wallet address again, then you can just simply confirm this transaction. And after a few seconds already, you can see the status is completed. So let's switch back to our Tangem app. So let's switch back to our Tangem app and we can see that we already have received our 0.01 BNB. Now, if you want to send these funds somewhere to invest in a platform, to buy something or whatever, just click on send. Here again, you can either copy and paste the specific address from the other wallet or you can click on this QR code sign in order to scan a QR code. As we wanna send some BNB, I need to go on my trust wallet and click on receive BNB in this case and I can copy my QR code and paste it then in my Tangem app. After this, just enter the amount of BNB you want to send. Also, if you want to send all your assets you have from this specific token or coin, you can also click on maximum amount and it will automatically fill it. After this, you have the option to select the network fee you want to go with. It can be normal as per default, but also low or priority. Of course, if you're using the low network fee, your transaction may take a little longer. However, you usually save a little funds. And with priority, you will have a faster transaction, but it will cost you slightly more. In this case, it won't be a big difference. As you can see here, it's all still 0.01 USD, a priority also 0.02 USD. I mean, yeah, the BRB amount adjusts slightly, but it's just not a big deal. I just leave it per default and click on send. And now, as you can see, you won't be able to do any transaction without your cards. So please take care of them properly. And to confirm your transaction, just quickly tap it on here. You will see here now that it is a little less than we initially wanted to send. And this is due to the network fees. So they have been automatically deducted from our transfer. But you can also choose if it will be deducted from the amount you want to send or you will pay. We all know how important it is to use a hardware wallet to have proper access to our funds to secure them properly. 
And I really think that Tangent Wallet is one of the best out in the market, especially for this low price and the ease of use. So if you want to get your own Tangent Wallet, feel free to use the link down below in the description to save 10% and also support the channel, of course, or type in the promo code bonus manually in your checkout card. If you want to know more about Tangent and how safe it really is, check out my other video. And if you want to save some money on premium subscriptions such as YouTube, Premium, Netflix and similar, check out this one.